How's it going, YouTube? Thanks for joining me once again. Uh, today I'm hosting a, a game night at my place. Satellite just got hooked up yesterday and uh, super pumped about that. Um, yeah, gonna have a bunch of buddies over cooking up some seafood, lobster, mac and cheese, some uh, shrimp pad thai, stuff like that going on. And uh, yeah, figured I'd break out these beers I picked up in uh, San Diego. This is from uh, Stone's Anniversary IPA Collection, including their 5th, uh, 10th, uh, 15th, and 20th Anniversary IPAs. Um, yeah, today's IPA is Stone's 5th Anniversary IPA India Pale Ale, coming in at... 8.5% alcohol by volume. Don't know a whole lot about this beer. Uh, there, uh, I couldn't find a IBU amount, anything like that. Couldn't find any hot varieties, uh, stuff like that. But um, yeah, apparently it was at that time the hoppiest beer they'd ever brewed. So um, yeah, super excited to try it out. It pours a, a half a finger of a bubbly, soapy, off-white head, super crystal clear, nice amount of carbonation going up the body, pours a uh, golden orange kind of color, nice looking beer, let's get an aroma. Oh, lots of uh, pine, citrus right away, getting some mango in the background, definitely getting a nice maltiness from this one. Yeah, like a toffee kind of malt in the background there. Getting this certain fruit, yeah, definitely grapefruit, but uh, I want to say like a peach, something like that going on. Yeah, nice dankness to it. Smells like a uh, really good IPA. Cheers. Yeah, I can see how uh, beers like this would have blown people's minds uh, 15 years ago when it was first brewed. Um, that being said, for the current IPA scene, it's not really standing out all that much. It's a nice IPA. I'm getting a nice uh, sweet malt to it, nice uh, breadiness, a nice bitterness across the tongue. Really beautiful, uh, uh, like really lingering kind of bitterness. But uh, not overwhelming at all. It's got a nice amount of, uh, yeah, like a grapefruit, like a, a grapefruit peel, that kind of thing going on. Some nice resin, some nice dankness to it. Almost something on the lines of a, uh, a mint character, maybe parsley. Yeah, like an Italian parsley in the background there. Really nice herbaceous kind of flavors. Uh, all in all, pretty simplistic, but uh, really nice um, IPA. All right, it's a rating on Stone's 5th Anniversary India Pale Ale. It's a classic, classic example of a double... West Coast IPA, you know. Um, really nice flavors to it. It's got that big bitterness, the uh, nice uh, slight tropical fruits, the grapefruit peel, the uh, grapefruit juice, that kind of thing going on. The nice bready backbone, a uh, bit of carbonation on the body, pretty light in body, especially for 8.5%. Um, yeah, a bit of alcohol hall warmth down the uh, throat as well. But um, all in all, pretty nice beer as a rating I go. I think like a straight up B, like an 84, 8, 83, right around there on this one. Pretty nice beer. Again, it's a classic example. It's not really pushing any boundaries. It's not going to blow any minds or anything like that, you know, but it's a great beer. Uh, yeah, definitely let me know what you think of Stone's 5th Anniversary IPA. Any of Stone's other beers, thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, cheers.